I want to talk about how to show your work for L'Hopital's rule on a free response question on the AP Calculus exam. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more help on calculus or AP stats or geometry or a ton of other math courses. I also have a full playlist on both AP Calculus AB and BC. Now, most of my videos and most videos I think you'll, you'll see about the AP exam deal with things that would be uh, multiple choice and therefore the work really isn't important. But I want to explain if the problem required work, what you would want to write. So let's get a problem. So here we've got a limit as x approaches 0 of e to the x minus 1 over sine x. Now, please always, always plug uh, the number in. Do substitution first. Uh, because there are years where students have done the full problem as if it were L'Hopital's rule, and it wasn't. It was a problem where they could have just substituted the number in and got an answer. That has happened on a free response question that I've graded. So we start by plugging 0 in. e to the 0 is 1. Minus 1 is 0. So the top is 0. And, of course, the bottom is also 0. Now, I want to show you there are a number of ways you could write this. The fastest way that earns all credit is to say the top is going to zero, do a little arrow, and the bottom is going to zero. That's a great way to write it. Another way you could write this, so I'll put an or because, I mean, I would use the, I would use the arrows because it's nice and fast, is to state the limit as x approaches zero of e to the x minus one equals zero, and the limit as x approaches zero of sine x equals zero. Now, obviously, this way looks more mathy. It doesn't have arrows, but, you know, both are acceptable, so I would go with the one that's faster. Now, here's what you absolutely cannot write. You cannot write that your limit equals zero over zero. You cannot write that because to write that is to say it is indeterminate. And that is not what we're saying. We're saying that both the top and bottom go to zero. So we are allowed to use L'Hopital's rule. So do not, I cannot stress enough, do not ever write zero divided by zero. You will automatically be out of earning points if you write zero divided by zero. Now, in either one of these examples, if we can just kind of pick up, you know, e either way that you like to write it, uh, either the arrows to zero or that the top equals zero and bottom equals zero, after you've done that, you're going to write L'Hopital. Spelling is not important on the AP exam, but you should write that you're going to do it. Then you should do it. You should say, well, the derivative of the top is e to the x. The derivative of the bottom is cosine x. Please remember, this isn't quotient rule. You're just finding the derivative of the top and the derivative of the bottom. And then you're going to evaluate the limit. Again, you must include that limit statement because you are saying, I've performed L'Hopital's rule and now I'm going to find the limit again. Well, e to the 0 is 1. Cosine of 0 is 1. So the final answer is 1. This would earn full credit on the AP exam. A couple just final notes here that people scoring your exam are going to look for. And the reasons are, I think I'll explain as I go. They want, the, saying that the top and bottom are both going to zero, or this statement down here, is saying you understand when a L'Hopital's rule applies. Then you're stating what you're doing. I understand that I can apply it. I'm going to apply it. Then you must apply it correctly. Derivative of the top, derivative of the bottom, and then I take the limit again. All of those things are important. Why can I use it? What am I using? And actually use it. And don't forget, you have, I mean, there's no reason to say that e to the x over cosine x is 1 unless you say I'm taking the limit as x approaches 0 of that. Again, just that's the way to earn all the points. Um, you can certainly see that, you know, other... Uh, L'Hopital's rule uh, forms could apply, uh, and I can show one more example of that, but for now, this will get you full points.